Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch as Floyd Mason. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, so we still got... Um, still got the one up here. Then I'll get the two checks at the top. Then we'll have to warp back. It's playing Minish Cap. I had to look up everything. Yeah, it's some games. Some games again. It's not even that like I need to. It's just like I'm too lazy to. Um, I, I have a big problem too. With, like like I own I own over like a thousand games. Like you know I collected them, especially like PS1, and PS2. When PS3 and PS4 came out, like I just bought tons of them for like two to five bucks each, and I want to beat every game I have. But some of them just suck, and it's like I don't even want to think about the puzzle. Like I literally will pull up a walkthrough and just use it. Which, I know some people are kind of like, whatever, like, why even play it, but I just have that that issue of like, okay, well, I own it, so I should beat it, and maybe it'll be better than I think, but if it's not, I'm just going to use a walkthrough and get through it as quickly as I can. Move on to the next one. Do you think when I become an adult again, like I said, I need to chance going into the store and uh, buying... Uh, I only have Steam games on my backlog, thankfully. They're all... Yeah. I mean, that, that's a decent backlog. For sure, but yeah, I, I guess with Steam, I mean, you're more likely to to only buy things you like because you have such the option. Like mine, mine was right, like I'd go to like a, um, oops. Like I'd go to like um, a flea market or something and someone would be like, here's 30 games for, for 20 bucks. It's like, how can I not? How can I not get that at the time? <clears throat> but I'm getting through it. You know, it comes and goes because the problem is, right, is like a, uh, you know, I have a pretty busy job and like do stuff outside of it so it's kind of like I almost really need to get like an Elgato and kind of stream games as I play them offline because like there's games I have offline that obviously I'm playing on the original systems because I want to beat them there but it's kind of like well I should maybe look into getting the Elgato and then it would be a lot easier to get through my backlog I just beat, I just beat FF10 two days ago? I finished it two days ago? And again, right, that was like 70 hours or so. It's cutting into my stream time a bit. And like, that's 70 hours without, like, the deaths. Like, I think I died on Jack like four times, and each time's like at least 40 minutes. Hold bundles and you get PC games. You probably won't want to play. Yeah, and, and like, I actually like don't, like I do have Steam, I bought it to play a buddy, um, a good friend of mine made a game that was really fun, um, and it was originally kind of like a phone game, and then he pushed it to Steam, so me and Darth ran it, um, it was really the only reason I got Steam, but it's just like, I have so many games as is, that I just don't, I, I'd be too lured in by the, if I started looking at it, I think I'd get too lured in by the deals, and just the ease of getting games and just add a ton to my backlog that I don't I don't need there. I have enough I have enough to play. Again, you know, like we're not getting much right now, but we have so much stuff. It's not super surprising. Alright, so let's go get the bug again. Then we'll do the bug uh, at Fire Temple. Then we'll go to, Sp to Spirit Temple. Get that bug, we'll plant that that beam, we'll get that, uh, that fairy. Oops, again, not where I want to go. Losing track one. <clears throat> I feel again like we're going to be on a little bit of a trek. Um, 
But I really just need to finish Kid so I can go to GTG. Because I'm pretty sure the game wants me wants me to go to GTG. I found the Gruta, like it was giving me a lot of stuff early and then I got the Gruta membership. Oh, I can do uh, the treasure chest game actually, so that's good. Enough. Well, I guess we can get this first. Um, let's do that too while we're here. This bottle. Both. Need games on Steam wish list. Yeah, which is the smarter way to do it? Like, you know, I have I have a couple friends and like they like you said like they own like a thousand games on Steam, but they're never gonna get to them. They just like kind of went crazy at one point because there's deals and dropped like a couple hundred and bought like a ton. But then they're like, oh, like I want to play these twenty right right now, but they end up playing one and they get bored with the rest, which again happened to me a bit. But I'm working my way through. Like of of my game backlog, I've beaten like 54% of it, which I think is pretty good. You know, I think I think a couple years ago, I was at like 40%, and then like because I made a list, I have a list of every game and like what I've beaten in it and kind of where I am, because I kept like forgetting which games I'd actually beaten and like. When I'd get back to them, I couldn't remember what I was doing. Um, but making that list, I was like, oh my god, like there's, there was at least like 20 games on it that I was like at the final boss or just quit it because I was like doing some grinding or something and got bored. And so like right when I made that, I just like was like boom, 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 and just knocked off like all these games, which was felt great. One of my thoughts right now too is so like like I said I finally beat FF10, but I almost beat it like I played the hell of it back in like high school, but it was just like I got basically to the end like I got through Xanarkand, and then I just was doing grinding and I got bored and moved on to something else or maybe it was when I moved or it, it, typically I tend to just again get to the end of games and be like eh, I'm bored and stop playing them. Uh, And, but like I, I played the remastered one, so I started from scratch and fully beat it. And it's like, man, should I go back? Because the only thing stopping me is that the final fight with Jekt, I hated so much. It was such an unfun fight for me. You know, like some bosses are hard and like they're annoying, but Jekt just felt so cheap that it was un unenjoyable. Um,. But I'm trying to decide, like, I think I grinded more in that one, so maybe I'm stronger. And, like, going back won't be that hard. So, I'm no, I don't know, I'm torn. It could be a thing where I put, like, an hour into the game and beat it. Oh my god, please aim down. Okay. Just a lot of games, so I started streaming. Get bored and put down. But now I have to beat the monster. Yeah, that, that that was a big thing when I was streaming as well. Was I I picked I picked a couple games that I'd been like not necessarily like wanting to beat for the first time, but that I wanted to replay. Um, and it was just kind of that good thing to like make you do it. Because <clears throat> it was like, well, I don't want to half play a game, especially for like old NES games. Like I, th I think I've said before, but, you know, ideally if I could, I would stream three times a week. And one would be, like, a randomizer or just, like, a mod game. Because, like, there's some, uh, like, Super Mario 64 <coughs> mods I want to try. Um, and one would be speedrunning, and one would be just playing a game that I want to play. Because, like, there's also things, like... Again, like, I really like to 100% beat games, and I'd love to get an Elgato and just play a ton of Borderlands. Because for me to beat that, I'd have to beat it, from in my mind, what qualifies as 
is beating the game with every character, and there's six of them, on at least once and get them to 100%, and one of them I'd have to beat it on the hardest. I don't have to beat them all on the hardest, just one. Shadow Temple. And it's just like, that's just so much gameplay. Push Mega Man 10 today, and I'll have Push Mega Man 11. I've played them all. Nice. Very nice. Um, I don't think I've played... Because, like, I had that Mega Man, like, um, collection pack, which I think is 1 to 8. So I beat that one. I don't... I don't think I've ever played 9 or 10, and I haven't finished 11. Of course, I got a first try, but didn't think I would. Again, I could just warp here with the adult, but really get it. Come on. Whatever. Let's warp here. <clears throat> Quest second with one character, I'm done. Yeah, I beat them all. I mean, I, three I've, I found not to be as fun. Three, I, three I feel they built it so that you'd... Like, some of the bosses were just, like, insane. Like, I'd be a fine level, like, I'd be blowing through enemies like nothing. And then I get to the boss, and he would just destroy me. But they don't, like, lose... They don't fully lose their health. Um, so it almost felt like, like, it wanted you to play online with people to fight the bosses, which kind of sucked. Um, I actually played number, I played a, some number one online with Dr. Leandra. Um, we used to play it together, but we just didn't have three at the same time, and I didn't know anyone else playing it, so it's kind of like, well, uh, not much I can do. But, my, my... Like, uh, definitely, definitely my, my requisites to 100% a game are super high. Like, basically, if there's trophies or, like, even just in-game awards on, like, older PS2, you know, PS1 games, you have to get everything. Um, all the trophies and achievements. If there's difficulty levels, you have to beat it on the hardest difficulty, um, but you don't have to 100% on the, the highest difficulty. If there's, um, you know, like, collectibles and things like that, you have to get... The, all of them, but they can be in any difficulty level. You can do it in easy if you want. Um, and you'd ha like, say in an RPG, you'd have to get every level fully, fully leveled up entirely, 100%, and like any moves learned. So far, it was fun. It's a group right now. Fair. Well, like, what I liked about Borderlands 2 is that, like, you can jump in and out. So. You know, like, you can play with them, but it's like, if they don't want to play for some reason, or, or that they stop, it's not like killing your progress. Like, you can just keep playing, and you'll still have everything you did, which is nice. Two was good, and the hands the prequel, hands the Handsome Jack one was quite good as well. And, like, three was good, it just felt like they, they made the bosses too hard, which was annoying to me. Yeah, I'm definitely a completionist. I mean... I'm 100% that way with games I love, but, like, any game that I deem is, like, easy enough to do it. And, and, like, I have a list going, and, like, some games I've marked is, like, too hard. You know, like, if I struggle beating a game on the normal difficulty, I just go, look, I'm not gonna be good enough to do this. Um, online games kill it, too. Because, like, say in, like, a Call of Duty, like, you'd have to unlock every medal and get full prestige. It's like, that's just not gonna happen. So I've been thinking about, like, modifying the list to kind of split out online and offline components. Um, because there's some games where, like, I would love to 100% beat them, but I'm put off by it because of the fact I could never do the online stuff. Like, some of them that doesn't even exist. Like, a game like, um, like Uncharted or, like, the Batman Arkham games, because um, they have online... Or, or Tomb Raider has it as well. Which, like, I'm never going to beat that online. It doesn't even exist anymore. No one plays it. 
and and there's no high level like you just keep leveling and leveling and leveling forever so they're impossible to beat 100 percent. but i would love the challenge of beating those games in one player yeah yeah it's complete uh, you're right it's completely different i need to split them out it's just a matter of getting around to my list and doing it You know, or putting like an asterisk beside it. You know, like 100% beat, but not online component. Because <laughs> I can't imagine any online game that I will ever beat 100%. And it sucks that you're just taking away a bunch of fun games. Oops. That you can just never do. I'm really running low on items too, right now. Really gotta get back to adults where more stuff. Come on. <clears throat> Same. And, and like, honestly, I've stopped a bit. Like, I used to play quite a bit of um, NHL. Um, I used to play Overwatch quite a bit. But I just, like, again, I just, like, kind of wanted to beat games. And my time... Whoop, my time is running lower. And... Uh, it was kind of like, well... Um, you know, it kind of came down... Like, well, the problem was, too, was just, like... You know, I wouldn't play the online... Like, I wouldn't play Overwatch for, like, a month. Because I was busy. And then I would play it again. And there'd be, like, two new characters who had no idea... How to, like, use or how to uh, defend against. And then... You know, like, they would, like debuff the person I use so their attacks didn't do this what I expected and everyone else was just playing all the time they got good I used to play Heroes of the Storm uh, I'm not uh, super familiar what, what kind of uh, games are this? Shields don't need it, but <clears throat> it's there. Uh, I'm trying to decide right now if I want to go upstairs with Young Link. So I can get a few items. Like, I mean, we can always, it just seems like. I do have a stick, right? I hope so. Yeah. I'm living this game tight with like one stick life. Been nothing in spirit. I, I think I'll keep scumming and just go see what's upstairs. I, I really think I gotta get to GTG. Uh, Mech Warrior, online 15 Mech Battles. Here's the Storm is a mobile base with character from Blizzard Games. It's our complex of Spaceship Battle. Yeah, I mean, I think my stream's holding up. I mean, I'm not getting, I'm not even getting things about frames dropping, so that part might be on your end. But my internet's been so bad today that I wouldn't be surprised if it's just not telling me, but sucking it up. <clears throat> it's a bummer. I gotta look into something like a, a permanent fix. It, it's super annoying how bad my internet is half the time. It's just, I think the problem too, right? It's just, uh... Alright, well, we don't need to key scum anymore, because we found that key back. So that's pretty cool. Um, welcome back. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's because I do it off a laptop, so, like, it, it it's getting worse, I think. I think every, every month my laptop gets a little bit older and a little bit less willing to cooperate. Which is a huge bummer. Ugh, come on. 
do not do this to me. Phew. <clears throat> like I said, like I think next year I might have to look into buying an actual desktop. Um, but just play MMORPGs, but don't play this anymore. I, I never really did. Like it was one of those things where like I really thought about it, like very seriously. Um, I actually might be one of the few people I actually own World of Warcraft and never played it because um, I bought it and but I was just like man if I start playing this I know myself and I'm it was like when I was in university I'm like I'll get hooked and I don't have the time to be hooked so I just never I never got around to playing it which I think was probably wise of me That's a check too that I used to miss. I thought you need like Din's fire or fire arrows. I never thought of doing it as the kid because I don't come here as the kid often. Like usually I don't unlock that bottom door because I find it to be a waste of a key. <clears throat> and more Deku nuts. I've gotten so many Deku nuts on this run. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, I, I've kind of stopped the online games and like just those like unbeatable games because just in my head I'm like I want to beat games. Like while they're they're fun and nice, I'll still throw on like. Overwatch every once in a while. Like, I'll still play some hockey. I just don't put a lot of time into them. <clears throat> I used to play some Rainbow Six Siege, too, but I was never that good at it. And then I stopped playing, and then I was terrible. And I'm like, I need to stop because the team relies on you, like, so much, and I was terrible. I'm like, I'm letting the team down so much. Mm-hmm. I don't doubt that. I mean, it looks fun as hell. I've also wanted to get into, and, and my fiance did not too long ago, um, a bit last year because her and her friend were playing, but she started playing the Final Fantasy fourteen online, and like that as well. I would get so hooked on that that I just cannot even load it into my system. Yeah, like, that. I mean, that's how I feel too, just about like, like Overwatch, something like that. Like, when I was playing Overwatch for a point, um, or when I was playing Call of Duty for a while, I couldn't play anything else because, like, I felt if I took any time off, I got bad. And so it was, like, just a constant feeling of needing to play the same game over and over and over. And I got tired of it. And it was just like, this isn't fun anymore. When I'm just playing one game because I don't want to be bad at it to someone else who plays it nonstop. What's the point? It, yeah, absolutely huge time sinks. I try to stick uh, stick away from like a lot of like mobile type. Okay, wait. Um, like mobile type style games as well. Just again, because they're so repetitive. Like I used to get it into them a bit, and like I still do play one now. But like you just get so pulled into them. Um, so I can't even fight this boss, I don't think. So I'm not even going to bother going in there yet. Oh, I got the shield anyways. Um, honestly, Spirit's been pretty empty, so I don't really care. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go... I don't think I can even hit the boss, so... Save it for later if need be, but... The spirit being as dead as it was, and with everything unlocked, I can now get up here as an adult anyways. Who cares? Uh, okay, so... Finally time, I think, to go adult again. I think I did everything I wanted to as a kid. Got a lot done. Uh, but we're gonna go directly out, I think, to GTG. Actually, I think I'm gonna warp over to um, Shadow Temple quick and just get whatever items up there. Whoop. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for watching.
please click to check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and come by Twitch under Floyd Mason to join my live streams.